Welcome to Movie and Recap. The opening scene features an American guy named Kyle LeBlanc, who works overseas in A. Steel Mill in Magnitogorsk, Russia. One day, he receives a call from his wife, Gray, who complains that he doesn't give enough time for her. As a result, Kyle plans to take a few days off from his work so that he can spend some quality time with her. The same evening, Kyle drives back home and on his way, he calls his wife to inform her, about his visit. However, things take an unexpected turn when he hears his wife's, screaming voice on the phone. It turns out that a guy named Sergio Kovas has, broken into the house and is subjecting Gray into physical assault. Kyle speeds up home, but it's too late as he finds his wife's lifeless body on the sofa. While mourning the loss, Sergio attacks him from behind and flees. Kyle angrily pursues him on the streets of, Magnitogorsk and gets into a brawl. However, they are soon apprehended by the police. In the next scene, both the guys are presented to the court, but Sergio buys the judge and, is declared not guilty due to lack of evidence. Enraged by this unjust verdict, Kyle takes drastic action by stealing a gun from a bailiff and shooting Sergio multiple, times in front of the entire courthouse as an act of revenge. After this crime, he is sentenced to life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. In the aftermath, Kyle along with some other criminals, are taken to Kravivy Prison, which is run by a corrupt warden named General Riskov. After they arrive, they are forced to, surrender their belongings, but Kyle is hesitant to give up his wedding ring. As a result, he is beaten up by an officer named Lieutenant Tolik, who then forcibly takes the ring. Later that night, Kyle witnesses some prison guards taking a fellow American, inmate named Billy Cooper to another cell. There, he is assaulted by Andre, a prison, fighter and member of the Russian Mafia. It is evident that this guy has bribed the officers. The following dawn, the guards escort a bruised and traumatized Billy to the infirmary, while Andre nonchalantly joins the other inmates, acting as if nothing happened. As the inmates walk, in a line, Andre taunts Kyle by reminding him of his wife. This provokes Kyle's anger, resulting in a physical altercation between the two. As a consequence, Kyle is locked up in a filthy solitary confinement. After enduring several days there, he initiates a hunger, strike and subsequently attempts to commit the unthinkable. However, at the last moment, he remembers the lovely moment spent with his wife, prompting him to realize that he must survive. Some days later, Kyle is transferred to a cell alongside inmate 451, an African-American prisoner, who is known to have killed three of his previous cellmates. Kyle is somewhat scared by his cellmate's reputation, but he doesn't utter a word. One day, Kyle's brother-in-law visits him in the prison and reveals that Gray was buried, respectfully. He also promises that he is doing his best to get Kyle out of the prison. But till, that time, he suggests Kyle pay some money to the guards so that they'll make his life easier. The following day, Kyle meets Billy in the prison yard and they engage in conversation. The latter, explains that he is serving 18 months for driving whilst intoxicated and crashing into a restaurant. Their conversation is interrupted when they are approached by another American inmate named, Malachi, who is confined to a wheelchair. He explains the politics of the prison and, the various gangs within, including the Russian Mafia's alliance with the prison guards. As time, passes by, Kyle begins to settle in, though Andre continues to taunt him, provoking him to fight. During one night, Kyle dreams of his wife being attacked by Sergio, a nightmare that agitates him in his sleep, causing him to breathe heavily. This disturbs his cellmate, who nearly chokes him. Following this event, Kyle tries to bribe the guards, to change his cell. But since he is an American, the guards demand more money. The scene then shifts to a few days later, showing a fight event organized within the prison. Malachi informs Kyle that General Riskov arranges these matches and gambles, by betting his money on the fighters. Andre, who is the only undefeated guy, brutally beats, up an inmate as usual. Amidst this, Kyle asks Malachi about whether inmate 451 ever fights, to which he answers in the negative. However, the prison officials make a lot, of money by putting other inmates in his cell and then entertaining their requests to shift. At Kravivy, prisoners are additionally tasked with labor-intensive work. During one of these tasks, some of the gang members decide to play a dirty trick on Kyle. They falsely claim that he was, verbally abusing them, and the officers grant them permission to take back their respect. As a result, the gang members beat Kyle up brutally before the guards send him back to the same solitary cell. In this cell, he constantly hears the disturbing sound of another inmate from the next cell. Despite this, he can do nothing but to bang on the walls. After a month, Kyle is released from solitary confinement, and now his appearance has changed due to substantial hair and beard growth. While sharing a meal with fellow inmates, Andre approaches Kyle and begins taunting him as usual. This causes Kyle to lose his temper, and as a result, another brawl ensues between them. Shortly after, the prison guards intervene and Kyle is again sent back to the same solitary cell. In the following days, the situation within the prison starts to get intense as the gangs, 
pick up fights against each other, and kill other inmates over minor conflicts. On a particular day, at the work site, the prison guards are hit by a landmine. Taking advantage of this distraction, Billy, along with another inmate, decide to escape the prison, but their effort turns out to be futile. The other inmate is promptly shot, while Billy is recaptured. In the midst of all this, Kyle, who is constantly bullied by Andre and his goons, begins training himself intensively. Later, as another fight is arranged, Kyle faces Andre. The latter, being the stronger of the two, immediately starts pummeling our hero. However, Kyle astonishes the onlookers by making an unexpected comeback. He gruesomely bites a large chunk from Andre's neck and kills him in agony. In the aftermath, Kyle suffers a mental breakdown as the prisoners and guards watch in horror. This fight proves to be a turning point in his life, so he gains the confidence he always lacked. Kyle continuously fights other prisoners and maintains a winning streak. He eventually becomes hardened by his environment while also gaining respect. His fights turn increasingly vicious, as he even starts to kill his adversaries. Moreover, he denies any help from his brother-in-law or the American embassy, feeling that nothing will change. Kyle's change in attitude worries his well-wishers, Malachi and Billy. At one point, 451 asks him, do you even know who you are? To which 451 answers himself, probably not. On the Russian Independence Day, Billy, fed up with the physical abuse he endures, makes another attempt to escape. However this time, he is betrayed by Malachi, who leaks the information about his escape to the guards in exchange for specific medical attention and treatment. After being caught, Billy is locked up in a cell with a prison fighter named Valya. The latter is eager to feast upon his youthful body. In order to retaliate, Billy spits on his face, but this only enrages Valya, who then beats him up within an inch of his life. The next morning, Kyle spots Billy taking his last breath. Before he dies, he advises Kyle, not to let the prison, guards, or inmates change him into something he's not. Moved by these words, Kyle realizes that he now should fight another battle for his inner peace and rediscover his true self. Hence, he makes the resolute decision to refrain from further fights, a choice that infuriates the prison guards. In response, they subject him to punishment, by hanging him outside. Despite having to face the harsh weather conditions, Kyle refuses to give up. On the other hand, inmate 451 learns of Malachi's treachery against Billy, so he opts to avenge his death. He douses Malachi in a flammable liquid and sets him on fire, resulting in a gruesome death. As he watches Malachi burn, 451 reflects on his own traumatic past of childhood abuse and molestation by a teacher. Here, it is revealed that he took his revenge by burning his teacher to death, which is how he ended up in prison. Inspired by Kyle's enduring bravery and resilience during his long punishment, the prison gangs decide to put aside their rivalries and unite. They collectively refuse to fight against each other despite the general's order. This leaves the prison officers powerless, as punishing all the inmates isn't possible. The situation frustrates General Riskov and his fellow officers as they used to make a lot of money from gambling in the fights. They hold Kyle responsible for making the prisoners rebellious and as a result, they devise a plan to get rid of him in order to settle things down. Prior to that, Kyle is released from his restraints and is transferred to the infirmary for recovery. During this period, he experiences a vision of his late wife, who expresses her happiness that he has rediscovered his true self. Kyle says that he missed her, to which Gray replies that nobody has ever gone as long as there is someone to remember them. Later in his cell block, Kyle is confronted by General Riskov, who is frustrated at his authority being challenged. He forces Kyle to have one last fight, and the opponent is Milik, a gargantuan prisoner kept separate from the general population. Milik is the same individual, whose voice Kyle kept hearing through the walls during his time in solitary confinement. As the fight begins, our hero is tossed around like a ragdoll. But just as he is about to be killed, he starts banging on a door, the same way he did in confinement. This prompts Milik to recognize Kyle, and he hugs him as a friend. Milik affectionately says, that Kyle was the only one who tried to communicate with him in all these years. Unfortunately, this further enrages the officers, so Lt. Tolik points his gun at them, ordering them to continue fighting. Kyle refuses and asks the officers to kill him instead, stating that he will not fight anymore. Tolik readies himself to shoot Kyle, but Milik intervenes, launching an assault on the officers. After witnessing this, the prisoners begin to protest, turning the tables on the guards. While Milik fights the prison guards, Kyle frees the other prisoners from their cells, igniting a full-scale riot. Amidst this commotion, Milik is fatally shot and Kyle comforts him before he succumbs to his wounds. Before long, the prison officers regain control over the situation by summoning extra force, ordering the prisoners to retreat to their cells. As Kyle and 451 sit together, Kyle shares about the incident that happened with his wife and how he ended up in the prison. After hearing his story, 451 tells him that he can help him in escaping the prison. 
Following this, the two return to their cell where 451 hands Kyle with the documents that contain evidence of all the murders and corruption that has happened in Kravavi prison for over 20 years. He urges Kyle to expose this information to the U.S. government, and the latter agrees. For the prison break, 451 asks Kyle to fight for one last time, so that the officer's attention will stay diverted. Kyle is hesitant about the idea, but after being motivated by his cellmate, he agrees. The next day, Kyle is set up to fight against Valya. As the battle begins, Kyle gains the upper hand and forces Valya's shoulder out of its socket. In a fit of rage, Valya pulls out a knife in an attempt to strike Kyle, but he accidentally ends up stabbing the leader of the Russian mafia, causing his demise. Kyle then uses this opportunity to smash Valya's head into a pole, finally taking him down. After the fight, he is escorted away by the guards to be killed, just as 451 anticipated. 451 then uses a secret passage to access the garage, where he launches a surprise attack and kills one of the guards. Meanwhile, Kyle holds Tolik at gunpoint and pins him underneath a car, before taking the key to unlock his handcuffs. Kyle also retrieves his wedding ring and disguises, himself in the guard's uniform, resembling the general. He asks 451 to come with him, but the latter refuses and instead asks him to make sure that the world knows about this place. Following this, Kyle successfully drives away from the prison, while 451 heads to the general's office and executes Riskov for his misdeeds. After this act, 451 is locked back to his cell, whereas, in the final scene, we learn that Kravavi's corruption has been exposed and the prison is shut down forever. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.